Hello everyone, and welcome to another Game Night Retro. This one is coming out extremely late in the month, because, truth be told, I forgot about it. So, I apologise for that, and we're definitely not going to get two out this month. Which means, as you probably could have guessed, we're going to roll the catch-up over to the next month, hopefully. Or just whenever it happens. We will get caught up eventually. Even if I have to go into... A second, uh, or... Not a second, but a new episode in, say, January. After I get to the end of the year. And then I might have to do one to sort of just catch up. But that will happen eventually. But this month, as you can no doubt tell from A, the thumbnail, and B the title of the game that's come up, and the intro, then we're going to be playing the Power Rangers movie game. Just going to pop into the options, set it to easy. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to be playing the Power Rangers movie game. We're going to skip through all the, well, I guess you'd call them cutscenes. They're not really relevant to the video, so we'll skip through those and just get some gameplay going on. But the thing about this game was that I didn't play it as a child, so it's kind of technically cheating putting it in the series, but I was a huge Power Rangers fan. So that's why we're doing this. But uh, before I decided to do this game for this series, I played through it from start to finish, which I've never done before. And I was disappointed to find that the story of the movie 90% of it is skimmed through then the first two levels. And then it sort of cuts back to the movie for the last level. But the section in the middle is absolutely nothing to do with anything. It's just thrown in. It's, it's about how the original Power Rangers some of them left the show and new ones were brought in and there was a story about that and the bit in the middle of this game covers how the old ones went out and how the new ones were brought in which seems like an odd choice to put in the movie game when at least half of your story is about things that happened in the TV show but there you go, that's how this game works I was going to play the uh, non-movie game until I remembered that that was sort of a more one-on-one -on -one fighting game, like a sort of Mortal Kombat or a Street Fighter. I wanted to have something with a bit more, I don't know, a bit more sort of variety about it. I suppose. So that's. That's why I'm not playing the uh, normal Power Rangers game. I also was then going to play the Game Gear version of the normal Power Rangers game, because that was more like this one, where you have uh, putties, I think they were called, when they come in, you have to beat those up, and then the boss comes in, and then you have to fight the boss, and it was more like this one. But then I was having a hard time finding any pictures I could use for the thumbnail. Then I found a good picture for the movie one, and then I remembered that I had the ROM of the movie game. So I could just play that instead. I also couldn't find a logo to use in the intro, that was the other thing. So that's why we're playing the movie game instead. But the, uh... Back in the day, I was a huge Power Rangers fan. I watched all of, uh, I think all of anyway, all of however many, I think it was two seasons of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and then I watched, I think, all of Power Rangers Zeo, which is the one that came after it. And then I think after that, I sort of got too old to be getting up on Saturday mornings to watch 
sort of uh, fully grown adults in spandex fighting poorly designed monsters that were just getting stranger and stranger by the by the week. Um, I had loads of the Power Rangers toys as well. I had some of the Zords and I had a whole set of the standard figures from the game. I had some of some of the uh, special morphing ones as well, where you could push down on the morphing belt morpher thingies. And the chest in the back would flip open and the heads would swap from masked to unmasked. Every time you did that. So you could technically morph them from their secret identities to into the Power Rangers, but they didn't have any clothes or anything. They had the Power Rangers suit with no mask on, so it wasn't really that much of a mystery or anything, was it? But I had some of those, and I had the Tiger Zord, and I had the Red Dragon Zord from Season 2, I think, of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers after they got new Zords for some reason I can't remember. I had some of the monsters. I had Lord Zed. And things like that. But, um... If... my best friend was here doing this with me, this episode could go on forever. As it is, though, I'm sort of running low on things to think about that I could say here. So I might call this one a day. In fact, I'm going to call this one a day. So if you enjoyed this video, then uh, please do click the like button because it helps me out more than you'd think it would and it makes me happy. So if you liked the video leave a like. If you didn't leave if you didn't like it, you know, feel free to leave a dislike. But I'd appreciate a comment to say what you didn't like about it. And then uh yeah, I will get caught up eventually on these videos. Mark my words, it will happen at some point. So uh thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. And goodbye.